Hmm. So we'll look at activity diagrams, and activity diagrams are very useful for describing use cases. Now there are really two ways to describe use cases properly. The one is to use a fully developed description of a use case where you would have the use case name, scenario, triggering events, description, actors, etc, etc. It's a, a written way. And another way that you can describe a use case is by using an activity diagram. Now, what do these activity diagrams look like? Well, an activity diagram is in the form of a workflow, and it's a very effective technique to document the flow activities for each use case scenario. Um, each actor in your activity diagram is going to have a swim lane, as well as a system, and you would represent the initial and end state as circles. And then basically you have each state in the swim lane with connectors indicating from what state to what state it would go. Now let's have a look at this in Visio. I've set up a, a partial activity diagram and I've indicated my initial state or start state which is just a solid black circle here and my end state which is a circle with uh, another circle going around it. And here I've got my different swim lanes. So here's my customer swim lane. My customer was my, my actor and my system swim lane. And basically from state to state I have these connectors indicating um, how the system and the actor of the customer interact between each other. So something to have a look here is, for instance, I have connect to order page. Now that's a, an event triggered by the customer actor and the system would respond by displaying the order page. And then again, the customer would indicate whether they were a first time customer or not. If they were, it would display the new customer page and then um, I would need to put additional states in here, but I've got a looping constraint, so I have a for loop and I indicate the start here and the end and it just goes through this process until it's finished and then reaches the end state. And that's how you use an activity diagram. No.